Hello everyone, welcome to what may very well be the last part. Maybe, I'm not sure yet. Anta, Antich, Don, might be the last part, might not be the last part, we will see. But, well, it could very well be the last part of the Super Metroid Randomizer. We've gotten all of the items, all the major items, and this seed, this has been a good seed. I enjoy playing it greatly. This was a great seed. I also realized how many times I bombed through those blocks when I could have used Screw Attack. <laughs> okay, there's Terminator. We were saying I'll be back. We were back, so yeah. Anyway, we will save in Torian, of course, but otherwise, like, let's talk about the seed a little bit. This was a great seed. I think that this has been a fun seed. I do not expect the future seeds. That I chew for uh, these uh, commentary walkers to be quite so easy. Um, but yeah, um, this one was a good one. So, yeah, quite enjoyable. It's been fun. Uh, we'll see how the Mother Brain fight goes, but otherwise, we are good. You also notice how they skip the statue part being necessary here. Like, you still have to, you know, have all the statues to get to Mother Brain, but, like, you know, still, it's not. Um... I think you get what I'm trying to say. You know, it's. <laughs> One of those things where the uh, yeah, where the statue going down is required, but getting all of the kills is required, of course. Uh, okay, so freeze the Metroids as fast as possible, you know, and uh, then just shoot them with a super missile. It's my strategy. I'm not speed running this area because I am not an expert on that kind of stuff. There are four Metroids here, each of them easy to get like that. And there's some annoying Rangas, just like in the first game. But less annoying because this game is way better than the first game in every possible regard. So, um, unless you were going for like most copy and pasted awards, you know? Oh. Okay. Okay, come on. Copy and paste thing was a little extreme there. Which is what I noticed when I was playing Axiom Verge as well. Just a little too like that. Like, I thought I was really going to like Axiom Verge because of my love of Metroid, but I just, I had some issues with just the copy and paste thing and. If the original Metroid was the inspiration. I can't say I was a huge fan of the original Metroid. Um, no, Metroid, get off, get off, get off, get off, come on. I like it in the Prime series where these guys just go down with like a single power, like a single, you know, power bomb, or just, you know, a single bomb can knock them off. Anyway, you can kill these guys with three power bombs as demonstrated, but that method just kind of sucks compared to the fun combo of, you know, Five missiles in the ice beam. It's also why we kind of need ice beam. The fact that it takes down Metroids so easily. Because otherwise, Metroids are annoying. It's also funny how people never know, you know, this game is like, you know, Metroids are not the main character, you know? <laughs> how many people are like, where does Metroid keep all his missiles? It's like, no, that's not how that works, guys. This game is. <laughs> Main character is not a he first off, and second off, a Metroid is not the main character. <laughs> a lot of people are like, what? No way. Anyway, these guys, I don't know how you kill them exactly, but I just... Maybe you can't kill them? I don't, I've never tried. That's just the truth. I just screw attack past them every time. But here we go. Let's see the baby Metroid, see how he's doing. Because we just, like, lost him, like, an hour ago, right? And so, uh, let's see how he's doing. Ah! Look at that! Oh, no, 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 oh, so huge, no, 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 okay, let's run away, run away, ah, got me, no, I'm still attacking out of it, no, where are my power bombs, I want to lay power bombs, they're not working, <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, we all know how this goes, the baby Metroid isn't going to kill us, just mostly going to kill us. So is it, like, take him that long to recognize his mother, or, like, what, you know? <laughs> so you just, like, want to scare us? Like, what's going on? I assume it's just, like, you know, doesn't recognize Samus up to that point. It's like, oh, hey, it's you, like, one, you know, energy dot from the end. Anyway, I think it was just done as a horror move, you know, scare all the players. Like, oh, no, I'm gonna die! <laughs> But, of course, we have this nice recharge station right down here, so that's no issue at all. We're done with our Metroid room, so we're not going to have to encounter more Metroids, so that's nice. And we just have Mother Brain, so we're going to save coming up here, and then 
I'll just do it this part. I'll just beat Mother Brain right here, right now. Prove I can do it. Because Mother Brain can be a sucky boss battle. But guess what? We have 90 freaking super missiles, okay? So don't you worry about nothing. And we're also going to use our missiles here to actually get through these gates, because these gates can suck it, you know? These gates really freaking suck. These gates where you have to, like, get through them by shooting them with missiles. Like, I don't want to have to do that. That's annoying. All the Rinkins are all shooting me and stuff. Anyway. Ugh. As I pointed out, Rinkins are annoying. Ugh, oh, you shot me in the door! Not fair. Okay. So, here's what we're gonna do. So, we're gonna shoot this thing. And the stupid turrets, too. Man. Ugh. Okay. Yeah, so. This is the only area I think we ever, like, use missiles in this game. And it'll show in our stats at the end, because there's some interesting stats they have for the Metroid. Super Metroid Randomizer, you know? So, anyway. Whoop. Okay, so break the tank open, and then we're going to use super missiles here. Uh, uh, no, don't cook me in the hot oil. Since all of my Mother Brain's food attacks, you know, attacks are basically food, then I guess, you know, this should be hot oil, right? There's that joke on the internet where all our attacks are just, like, labeled as different kinds of food, like the onion rings and the, you know, ketchup aim and, the, you know, other things like that. Anyway, we are just going to pump Mother Brain full of like 60 super missiles here, and that should be enough to trigger the next stage, otherwise we are going to have to do some other stuff. We can take a few hits here, that's also completely fine, um, none of the weapons will really kill us, and we have reserve tanks anyway, so, um, that's not really a threat. Dying here is not the threat that it really is in a lot of runs, you know? So, um... You'll notice how deadly that ketchup beam is, just like FYI. Look how much health it takes. But, you know. Okay, so we I think we got her to the next stage here. See? We got her to the next stage. I got you. Now, I suppose we could do stand-up glitch. I don't know how to do it. That's why I'm not doing it. But um, that's the thing, the stand-up glitch, you know. Uh, I think at this point, she's either... I think we're at such low health. No, 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 actually we're not. She's gonna get us again. There we go. Okay. And now she's just gonna hit us with a few onion rings or something. It's a very scripted fight, where, you know, it looks like we're just losing badly, and Samus will get back up, and we're just, like, dead, and it's just, like, game over, and then she's charging her hyper beam again, you know. Oh no, it's the charging of the hyper beam, what do we do? Ah! Then the baby Metro jumps in to save the day. Oh yeah. I think this was a cool scene. I think it's a cool fight. Well, if I can praise Other M for one thing, it did uh, show this cutscene with like way better graphics. So, that's pretty cool. You know what, I will do more commentary of these Metroid games, not just other Super Metroid randomizers, but I want to do all the Metroid games with commentary. Which I kind of started on some of them more than... Like, I actually finished the uh, one, like, the original Metroid Prime way back in, like, 2014 or something, 2015. But, you know, it's been a lot of years since then, so I can I can do some more with these. Yeah. So do another M, probably, gonna be doing... Might do Metroid Prime again as well, in addition to Prime 2 and Prime 3, which I'll start from scratch on, all that kind of stuff. Uh, I think that that's good. I think I can do that well. And that's been a lot of fun, so, you know, commentary here has been really fun with these Metroid games. So, hope you guys enjoy it. I've enjoyed it. And, yeah, let's hope that this really works as well for this channel as it does for all the no-commentary stuff I'll continue to be doing anyway. Okay, let's battle Metroid. Let's battle, battle Metroid. <laughs> battle Mother Brain here, now that we've just been sitting on the sideline, basically, for a while. Um, yeah. So this is the Hyper Beam. We have no more Charge Beam, basically. But the Hyper Beam is Beam, and it shoots Hyper. And look at it. Look at how powerful this thing is. Boom. 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 Man, Mother Brain is not doing well here. Yeah. Also, I love how the theme for, uh for, like, um, criteria just plays in the background here. It seems so epic as, like, the, you know, defeat music. Yeah, yeah, Mother Brain, we got you. Haha, -ha, I'm the best. Samus number one, Samus number one. Okay. But, of course, there's a self-destruct sequence. 
This is a Metroid game after all, so, um, yeah. I am not great at the escape sequence, like, I can do it, I've learned where to go and all that, but, um, I'm just not, like, an expert at the timing of it like some people are. Okay. Here we go. So run along the bottom, of course, and this is where we're going to get our Shine Spark barely in there. See how the speed after effect took that guy down? It's pretty badass. Okay, so here you're supposed to go through the door with the right, you know, rotations. You can do it, like I was talking about that room earlier, but anyway. Doing escape can be a little irritating. It's just all flashy and the screen's shaking around. And while this seems like it might have been cool at one point, at this point it's not really that cool anymore. The days of 2021, you know? I can't believe it's 2021. It feels like 2020 is still here. But it's early 2021 when I'm recording this, so, you know, the first few days it always feels like the new year isn't really here. Okay, the hard part of this is over. This is actually a pretty good escape. Oh, no. Oh, man, I said it was a good escape and then I screwed it up. <laughs> uh, I normally can speed my way straight out of here. You know, you do a shine spark, you go straight up top, you don't have to do this terrible climb. But I had to do the terrible climb because I timed it wrong. <laughs> But up to that point, that was like my best escape ever. Um, okay, if you go into the Save the Animals room, you will get Fantoon. Okay, you will get a Fantoon fight. I promise you that. With the randomizer I am using, you get a Fantoon fight. Um, <laughs> I think that's just to teach the casual players, at least, that you shouldn't be rescuing the animals. You should be getting off the planet. <laughs> Which, whatever, you know, if they're going to force me to just do this, I don't care. But, you know little mean for Save the Animals getting no love. And yeah, that's gonna be it for Super Metroid, so that was a lot of fun to do this walkthrough, you know, for you guys to do a randomizer. And yeah, it's nice to be done with it, nice to have completed this first randomizer. There is a lot more to come in the randomizer world, though, because there are some fantastic randomizers out there. I also look forward to trying out the Metroid Prime randomizer at some point. I know that's a thing. It would have to be the GC version, of course, but uh, we'll do what we can. Not as fun, in my opinion, as the uh, good old-fashioned, uh, you know, like a ROM or an ISO file, in this case, for the uh, good old original, you know, I, I, well, not the original, whatever. I'm rambling, I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> okay. Operation was completely successful. Clear time, 1.56. So you have to beat the game in under three hours in order to get the best ending, I believe, with 100%. But we didn't get 100%, but we still get the best ending for some odd reason, I think. Or, like, the slightly best ending? I'm not sure. Anyway, let's watch the ending. <laughs> ah. Uh, Shoutouts to Kenji Yamamoto, he has some fantastic music in the Metroid world. Uh, some of the main themes, including Ridley's Lair here, will go on to be things like Magmar Caverns, which is just absolutely fantastic. I just, I love a lot of his uh, musical works in Metroid games, I just think they're some of the best. Maybe that's just me, but I, I just really, really like his work, so, yeah. Anyway, a lot of dedicated people going into making both the randomizer here, which we'll get to in a second, but uh, the Super Metroid credits, of course, here. But now the item randomizer staff, you know? <laughs> we had some uh, some of the uh, best runners for it, you know, like Total and Fusta. Um, and such big, you know, contributors there, of course. No Cross Products, Mild Anaconda 69, so memorable. Um, yeah, some of these, like, fantastic speedrunners for the tournaments, um, always fun to see. There's the Discord invite if you want to, you know, chat on Discord with the uh, people about the item, uh, randomizer. Here's some of the, uh, different just, you know, facts about it. Time indoors, you know, door transitions, criteria, Grand Star, Norfair. Looks like I spent a lot of time in Norfair and, like, no time in the wrecked ship. Torian fast, as intended. Yeah. They go through just like all the statistics. So the major item locations, they go through all these, you know. Just where each of them would be, you know, what was at each level, etc. Radio, you know. Uh, overall, I think this was a uh, 
a pretty great, you know, um, run through overall. I think it was just really, really good. So, yeah. It was a lot of fun to play through this guys and to do the commentary of course with it so yeah hope you guys enjoyed this experience and there will be more to come that's for sure dear force <laughs>